Desperate times call for desperate measures, and this is the second time this man's name has come up. That's how you know that you are an elite pass rusher. You once were, because no matter how old you get, no matter how long you've been retired, fans are still trying to get you to come out of retirement and help their team. And for the second time in, in just as many years, the Detroit Lions fans are trying to lure J.J. Watt out of retirement. The dude is very much like Aaron Donald, another name that's come up. Uh, quite a bit, but with Aaron Donald being a DT and look to be enjoying retirement and the fact that J.J. Watt has been on the Pat McAfee show, Rich Eisen, things like that, fans are trying to get this guy to come back. And and I'm going to tell you right now, man, at this point, I wouldn't be mad at literally anybody. I mean, we could go get Bruce Irvin for all I care, and I would not be upset. I mean, at this point, what are we going to do? We are we are We are playing with house money at this point. So I wouldn't be mad if we did anything on the defensive line. But I saw this. Hutchinson goes down, lost for the season. I did see Dan Campbell today said that what we already knew, that the he's going to be down for four to six, but what he said is he wouldn't put it past Hutch if Hutch could kind of pull a C.J. Gardner-Johnson and come back in the higher-than-expected time. He said he wouldn't put anything past Hutch, but this is a four- to six-month recovery time uh, on the low end. But he wouldn't be surprised. Now you're talking about to the Super Bowl. If Lion, if the Lions were to make the Super Bowl, that is about a four month journey from now. So that would be at the bottom of that six months. So you, it, Hutch, would literally have to make a the the fastest recovery of all time in order to come back and play. I've I've been down that road. His leg is going to be smaller. He's probably going to be in a cast. Um, he's going to do a lot of, he's going to have to do a lot of things, but I know he'll have the help in order to do that. But I saw this and I thought this was great because again, and Dama can sue JJ Watt, any retired defensive lineman, we're going to try to always bring back in here. So this is coming from somebody named Michael P. Bagoris says JJ Watt. How many times have you heard this today? This is from four hours ago. Come out of retirement for the Lions. We know you are still in shape. Keep up the good work. JJ responded very modestly. He said, ha ha, once or twice. I know that's a modest answer. Lions fans, I see. Hear and appreciate you. Love your squad. Love Detroit and love Hutch. Gut it for him. This morning, I poured a cup of coffee and took a walk by the lake with my wife and son before breakfast. I'm very much enjoying this phase of my life. Now, all that's true. Had an, He's got a young son, wife, enjoying retirement. All right? I see you. I hear you. I appreciate you. But he didn't say no. Now, I did see a podcast that he literally said, and, and this is why I'm I'm not saying that this is going to happen. And this is kind of like a fun video because I need something to cheer me up. I hear you guys in the comment section. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's not, but it feels like it. It feels like it. And we just lost our dude, man. So it's going to take me some time to grieve. And I think everybody should be allowed to grieve. We haven't given up on this team. We haven't thrown in a towel. We're not conceding defeat. But we're grieving for our dude, man. And not just not just a dude. He's not just the guy. He's not a jack. He is the man. So we, we, we hurt. We dealing with it. But just like Dan Campbell and our boys in blue, we're going to keep it moving. But that don't mean we can't grieve and be hurt, all right? So now that I got that out the way, it, he didn't say no. J.J. Watt did not say no. He said on a podcast that I was listening to that it would be one team that he would literally drop anything for, and that would be the Houston Texans, His the team that drafted him. Remember, he spent the latter half of his career in Arizona and played very well over there as well. But he said he literally would come. He said, but only call me. If you need me. So he was like, he was like Batman. That's it. I just thought about that. He, he's like, only call me. Only you. He, he literally gave D'Amico Ryans the bat signal. He gave him, he said, only call me if you need me. Like if it's no other choice and I'll be there. Right. So he did not say no. He's not opposed to coming back. But right now it would only be for the Houston Texans. And they got way too many pass rushers over there. Um, Will Anderson, Daniel Hunter, they should be good to go. So they should be good. But could could the Detroit Lions lure this guy out of retirement? Now, check this out. Here's what I, I then responded, and here's what I had to say. You know, I'll be, I'll be dropping some straight dimes, man. Check this out. 
I said, imagine how much better it would be in February when you pour a cup of coffee, take a walk with uh, by the lake with your wife and son before breakfast, but with a Super Bowl ring, something something to think about. And as you can see right there, it's got almost 4,000 views. And that's what's up, right? So Lions fans, man, desperate. J.J. Watt still right now would be probably better than any. That's how you know you're good. When you would be better than anybody on our team, I would give him right now, I would put him, I haven't seen a dude play in two years. But Bruce Irvin also wasn't playing and came out and gave, gave, got a sack in game one. I'm going to throw it out there. And I'm going to say that best case scenario, he the best rusher on the team. Worst case scenario, J.J. Watt right now, right now, is he in football shape? That's something else, all right? I think he, best case scenario, he the best pass rusher on the team. Worst case scenario, he is under D.J. Reader and Aline McNeil. Now, I'm going to throw in some extra juice, some extra lemon squeeze. There's a guy that played on our team last year. You guys said he was washed when we signed him. As a matter of fact, I made a video about us signing this guy before we did when Sam Laporta went down late in the season with that knee injury. Zach Ertz, who sat on the sideline, he was active for, I think he was elevated, but we really didn't see him or something like that. And dude is the starting tight end in Washington, and he's balling over there. So we like to throw the word washed around if you're over the age of 30. It's, it's amazing to me how the majority of you welcome Bruce Irvin with open arms, but you probably would call J.J. Watt washed. Anybody from the Watt family, including, well, maybe, maybe not Derek, but the two pass rushers that we see, they're going to be at Hall of Famers. There's no doubt about it. So I thought this was a little fun video. It would be something if the Lions could make this happen. But Dan Campbell said today that, I don't know, man, Dan, Cam Dan Campbell's press conference today gave me pause. It really did. That's the second time I've used that today in the video. Gave me pause. I know that Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell are about theatricality and deception. I also know Dan Campbell said today his job is to coach the guys that they have. Brad, he didn't say this part, but Brad's job is to make this team better with additional players. And he is always looking to do that. That's coming from Dan Campbell. But Dan Campbell seemed pretty confident. It was more than theatricality and deception to me. He seemed pretty confident that they believe in the guys that they have. I, I love Coach. I love this team. Always will. But that's tough for me to believe. It really is. And I am trying to trust this entire thing. But when you lose a guy who is accountable for not only the most pressures in the league, the most pressures on your team, and the league leader in sacks, the team leader in sacks, you can't just go with the guys you have. So I'm going to call cap on that, Coach. I think that Dan and Brad are having conversations, but it's got to be the right fit. He also said, Dan Campbell, that they got to make sure that they have their guys, not only the guys on the team, but the guys off the team as well. And if it's going to take an outside signing, then that's what's going to happen. Who will that be? We have to wait and find out. So give me your thoughts, man. J.J. Watt, Detroit Lions fans, including myself, trying to lure this guy out of retirement. I know uh, Indomit can sue us a thing. It's the first year. No, actually, I did hear somebody in the comment section mention his name. He, he should be done. He's like 37. Not too old for Brad, though, but... Him, Aaron Donald, and now J.J. Watt. Three guys that name come up. That means you were dominant at your position. That's what that means. If you've been retired, you're over the age of 34, 35, and they're still trying to bring you out. But like I said a few minutes ago, J.J. Watt, and in his current state, in my honest opinion, would be equal to or greater than the best current pass rusher we have on our team. And I haven't seen a dude play in two years. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You can be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Hey, he didn't say no. So it ain't out of the question. He didn't say no. That's for sure.